Hello everyone, Sadiq Hussain here from the Affinity Photo Pushing Pixels uh, YouTube channel. Um, thank you for watching and thank you for um, contributing com many comments that I get uh, and also um, suggestions. And one such one we had from uh, a viewer, uh, Zoe, um, Zoe uh, who wanted to know, watched one of the recent videos, wanted to know, can we apply the graduated filter um, over a uh, one of the other filters like blur so the gradation over a blur so we can control where the filter is applied compared to the uh, the whole image and of course the short answer to that is yes you can and uh, here's a, an image where I've already applied that and I'll show you how to do that so what I've done here is I've applied a radial um, a ripple effect but it hasn't applied it right the way from the center point here to from the light all the way through it's it's starting to apply it around about here and then it gets more and more intense so how do we do that or if it's a regular gaussian blur how do we do that on there so let's uh, let let's get into it and i'll show you exactly how to do that okay first of all um you need to be aware is that you can apply a blur filter if you like at least three different ways in affinity as you can in most uh, photo editing programs so the first one would be you can go to the adjustment layer and uh, you could apply um, uh, various adjustments there but if you actually went to um, uh, the effects as well you've got gaussian blur here so if i applied a gaussian blur it applies it to the whole image but i can't apply uh, uh, a selection to that as far as the graduated um, uh, tool is concerned um, uh, from this method so let's not do that or we can go to the filters menu at the top here and we want to put in this is really the same thing put in a Gaussian blur that will achieve the same thing it doesn't um, allow you easily to do what we want to do so really what we want to use in affinity is a live uh, filter uh, uh, option so if you go to layer new live filter layer and in this case we want to just to do the gaussian blur for now okay gaussian blur so we just want to blur the whole image preserve alpha so it then it doesn't leave um, um, a half empty pixels around the edges if we just take that off you can see that as it's blurring it's revealing some um, pixels because it's having to to blur the pixels um, and scatter them and of course get, that gives you that blur but if you um, click on preserve alpha it fills those in automatically by sampling pixels around it okay so that's applied a live gaussian blur and of course you can choose whichever type of blur that you want but if i don't want it over the whole image as long as i select the gaussian blur uh, mask if you like if we can mask it so this is in fact called a graduated mask so we're applying a graduated mask on top of a filter okay so we now go to the um, grad gradient tool and if I click from the bottom upwards and apply a a mask on it remember with a mask black blocks white reveals that's certainly the way I've always remembered it black blocks and um, because that rhymes black blocks white reveals so what does that mean what that means is that if I look here wherever the black is it will block it so if it's not totally black change it to black and where it's white it reveals um the effect and of course what's the effect it's the effect of the blur okay so black blocks the effect the effect of the gaussian blur so it's blocking it here so therefore that gaussian blur is not visible here here the gaussian blur is visible it means because we're nearer to the white and white reveals it so that's the way to remember it black blocks white reveals and of course you can change that exactly where you want it to go so because this building's on a slant on an angle maybe what i want to do is to mirror the angle of the building so that the 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 blur occurs at a particular point in the building and then dissipates away 
So perhaps I, what I want to do is to make sure that this number 100 and the light isn't blurred with the Gaussian blur. So if I move that midpoint, I can choose where the blur ends. So I could have the light, the whole building blur, blurry. But if I move it down to about here, that mean that guarantees me that this bit is uh, is not uh, uh, having the um, Gaussian blur effect applied to it, and that's basically how you control uh, a a live filter, a live blur filter in this case, by using a gr uh, a graduated um, uh, a tool on top of it. So it's called a, a graduated mask, and you can see it clearly here on the mask. You've got black at the top, white at the bottom. So black blocks the effect, and white reveals it, i.e., revealing the Gaussian blur. Let's do that again, but this time we'll do it with a different filter. Oops, let's just go back again and go back to uh, deleted too many layers there. So back to the base image again, and uh, this time I'm going to apply another layer, live filter layer, but in this time we'll go for a, a distortion. So maybe a um, um, spherical distortion. Okay, and we're going to so you can see that's very cool distortion in there no actually don't like that that's not going to look uh, good so we're going to go back to layer live filter layer i'll do the one that i did before uh, which was the um, ripple uh, effect okay and again preserve alpha here tick that because otherwise you'll get this um, you'd have to crop the image and if you don't want to do that always click that re uh, preserve alpha and the intensity that we will just up the intensity on this uh, about there now where's the center point center point is there before i want the center point to be where that light is i just click there so that's the center point okay that's done. I'm happy with that. But it's actually applying that filter there as well. And I don't want it. I want it to like be emanating from that central point and then it getting gradually worse as he gets to the edge of the image. And of course, same as before, click on the um, uh, the actual um, live filter layer here and that acts as a mask you can mask it and you just click on uh, in fact that's automatically selected when you click on that because that is a mask at the moment it's white which means it reveals the whole effect of the ripple but all we're doing is applying a, a gradient on it you could obviously paint with black and then that will then reveal the image underneath it if you wanted to do that but if you want to do it as a, a graduation uh, then you just click and drag to where you want it because we want it to emanate out from the center point at that way now what i've actually done there is that it's 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 mostly concentrated in the center the ripple effect and it fades out so we want to reverse it so now that we are on the graduated uh, gradient tool sorry you can click just reverse here reverse gradient so now the the gradient is going from black to white whereas before it was white to black um, black blocks white reveals so we want to go the other way and again if you move the center point it means that you can control where that effect is coming from emanating from and how far it goes out to and i would prefer that where the effect isn't applied here and i can still move this here and uh, fine tune it where i want it but the effect is gradually gets uh, more pronounced as it goes through the image. Okay, and you can see that effect there uh, as well. So that's a great way, and that's a linear gradient. Of course, if you didn't want a linear gradient, you wanted to have a radial because there's no effect over here. We could do that. So we could click, click on radial. Um, so it automatically puts the effect there. Uh, but again, you might want to move that center point so that the effect doesn't start until it gets to a certain point around the image okay because i want that number 100 to be unaffected so if i just move that out and that uh, that, that 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 will really control where it's um where it applies to 
Okay, so that's thank you for the suggestion, Zoe. And we've done used it just on two live uh, uh, filters effects. One is Gauss Gaussian blur, and one is a ripple effect. But of course, you've got any number of different live filters uh, here, it, whether it's colors and a vignette or noise or dis different types of distortion. Um, um, blurs, there's loads of blurs, depth of field blur, because there's loads of options. So you have a go at the different ones, but that's essentially uh, the technique. Just make sure that you click on the the um, the mask first before you, uh, as soon as you click on that, that um, uh, item gets selected straight away, and then you can apply um, the, um, uh, the, the, the gradient tool um, from whichever direction you want to you can swap it around you can move the gradient tool about uh, absolutely um, flexible with that so give it a go uh, hope you enjoyed that and learned something from it again thank you for the viewers for making suggestions i always try and incorporate uh, your views and your um, requests wherever possible and uh, because it means that um, it's relevant not just to you but to many others who will have had the same thoughts but uh, didn't actually put it into a comment so thank you again for making that suggestion